Hello YouTube. Custom ROMs give a whole new different world to Android. No one is new to them or haven't heard about them. But the question is, which custom ROM to install? Because there are many. So lately I was searching for a custom ROM for my Redmi 4A and after trying a couple of them, I stumbled upon AOSP Extended. Well, the experience was merely disappointing. I didn't find a single video on AOSP Extended, so I thought let's summarize my experience and save some people from making this mistake. So let me give you 5 reasons why you shouldn't be installing AOSP Extended. But before that, the target is to meet 1000 subscribers before 20th February 2017. So if you're here watching this video, I have 20 more other videos on this channel and I'm constantly trying to improve the quality of videos here. So I would really be grateful if you appreciate that and subscribe to the channel. The biggest reason could be this. The camera just doesn't work on this ROM. No matter what app you try, the camera fails to open. So this leads me to believe that the ROM doesn't have access to the camera hardware altogether. The video playback was poor. I had frame drops, stuck frames and app crashes. And mind you, this was frequent. I tried all sorts of video app players, YouTube app and even Google Chrome. But the problem was still there. I actually noticed this after 2-3 days of usage. There was frequent and random network drop. This didn't happen with stock ROM so I can confirm that there is no fault with the SIM card. Also the ROM doesn't support Bolti so you cannot use your Geo SIM card here. Well at least for calling the internet would still work. Another problem which I faced frequently was the random app crashes. It happened with some of the apps but the issue was consistent. This basically is a very petty issue and it could actually be solved by installing a third party app. But the native hotspot just doesn't work here. No doubt this is a very clean and stockish ROM but these are the 5 reasons which leads me to believe that you shouldn't be trying this ROM well at least on Xiaomi phones. So folks that's it from my end. See you soon.